What up guys and welcome back to another replay analysis. This one is of the Moo Cows. Fantastic name. I actually have a stuffed animal called Moo Cow. It was my sister's. I stole it from her, I think. Then I gave it to my wife when we were dating, when we were like, when she was at school and I wasn't. I gave her Moo Cow. It was like a really touching moment, you know? Like one of those like, yeah, you know, it really worked out for me because I was like, hey, have my Moo Cow. And she's like, wow. He's amazing. What a sweetheart. GG. We're married. Guys, give your girlfriend stuffed animals. Simple as that. Anyway, let's get into it. Patreon.com slash Gib00. That's how the Moo Cows got in on this replay analysis. I do eight a month. And uh, yeah, spots should open up when people rotate in and out. So keep checking that throughout the month on Patreon. And let's get right into the replay. We saw one really nice pass from Moo Cows at the start. Started over. We got a waffle with butter antenna. I love it. I love it a lot. It actually came a little late at this face-off. And so, like, so one is Camerson's. Oh, I can't say when the car's that close to the back. Not a fan of that. But hey, you do what you gotta do. Yeah, he doesn't boost the whole time. And when a, a great goat does the flip, once you see someone do a diagonal flip, they might suck, like, I'm at doing it, but you have to assume it's a fast kickoff, and you have to boost the whole way to the kickoff. Don't only use some of your boosts and then stop. Always boost, like, your full amount. Work from there. Then you could break at the end if needed. Like, if you think that you want to try something different. You're much better off doing that. Uh, good boost grab there. Like, rotating to grab the boost before attacking. And then Great Goat kind of screws that up. Fantastic pass to the middle. Dreamcatcher almost catches up to it. I mean, that's fine. It wasn't that big of a deal. Uh, that he didn't catch up to it. Nice aerial to just clip that ball out. He almost got a little too under it. Just got to be careful with those when you're going a little too fast. Now this ball right here, he's kind of just like spinning around. He sees he has someone in net. So I like that he turns around and goes for the challenge. Um, it's just like he was a little lost for a bit there. He's got to spin around maybe a little bit quicker on this play. Like right as this ball goes in the air, land, spin around. Like do a, like a handbrake drift and turn around and keep playing for that ball there. Like... Be in ball cam when you make a mistake like that because usually the other team is not going to read it as well because it was kind of like a weird hit. Uh, so you can usually make another play on the ball. So just, just try and keep that in mind. This is actually a really bad play by Mukaus. He needs to attack this corner. Like right there, I would attack. Maybe it's a little hard. Let's see. So right here, you could probably attack him. And I understand like if you don't want to, but you got to jump there. Right when he's going up the wall, that's when you have to attack. Right at this moment right here when he starts that roll up this is where you get to jump in aerial and just get ready to block the pass because you can't give him free passes like this like, this is a freebie pass luckily dream catcher is there to cover up for his um a mistake and then it's just a free goal because that pass baited in the, the second player so it's not so it's not a great idea to pass that close to goalies and twos because you'll bait in your teammate Mukaus should have had the save, and that should have been his counterattack. But Generations kind of got baited in there by the pass. Good rotation here, just getting back. I would not send this ball forward. That's one thing I wouldn't do. You have to waste time because your first guy m misses this ball right here. He misses. He's out of the play for a while, unless you can somehow pass it to him. I would bring it up your own wall here. Like, control this ball. Like, maybe jump and hit a wheel side. No one else is around. Uh, put it in your corner, and then try and make a clear that way. Uh, that gives your teammate a chance to come back in time when you go for the second clear attempt or even if you just dribble it out instead you kind of hit it right to great goat great goat could have easily passed it off the wall to himself here which i guess he does and then make a shot but he hit it a little too hard so it just turned into a shot on its own um so it made an easy save and again generations was creeping up a little too far this is a good play by mukau so this is exactly what uh great goat should have done Pass it off the wall to yourself and get a nice lob shot. You always want to shoot it high. He's a challenger elite, by the way, which I did not mention. Um, especially around this level, you want to shoot balls high. It's very hard for them to save, especially when they're going backwards. Like, neither of these guys tried to save this ball, like, at all. Like, Great Goat didn't even jump at this until it was way too late. Freebie goal. Great job there by Mookaus. All right. Next play. See what we got. Mukau's checking out his backside. Oh, he backflipped wrong. There we go. He got the boost. You don't have to turn it all when you're backing up for those boosts. Like, you'll fall right into the boost bed, I believe, on the diagonal. So, you just have to backflip. No turn in required. 
Good save there by Dreamcatcher. So, when Great Goat makes a move, Dreamcatcher's like, that's his job. So, that was a fine job by Mookows, making Great Goat make a move. A Great Goat's move is actually pretty good that he could follow up on the ball, and Dreamcatcher's got a bad 50 50 and, and didn't get the win. Generally, that's not a bad play. You want to try and force him into a worse move if possible. That's a weird little side flip. That worked, though. He got the boost. That's a fine challenge. Like You don't have to go all the way up because you know that the guy's coming in really far. So stay lower. This was just a bad takeoff on, like, on this aerial. So you, so you just got to be careful on these. So that ball is weirdly hit. So that's like understandable that you're not going to be able to read it correctly. But he takes off way past the ball. Just like... So this is why I tell everyone, go slower on your aerials when you're on the ground. And you can usually make up for it when you're in the air. There, he tries to go way too fast on the ground and actually goes past the ball. Then you you can't boost back at that point because your momentum is too great. You have to use a lot more boost when you're going faster to change direction than if you're going slower. So it's always a good idea to go a little bit slower. That was just a weird play. All in all, this is actually almost a bad shot. Got to be careful with shot location. Very weird play there, but... Like, again, he's trying to go a little too fast, maybe? He got a little bit too in front of that ball and put it back near a side post where all three people were. And that could have been saved, like, instead of the wide open side on the other. So just be a little bit more patient. Not too much, because you, you still want to get that goal. But just be careful about your ground speed. Like, fast ground speed is good if you're accurate. But if you're not accurate, then slow it down just a tad, and you'll get a, a little bit better quality shots here and there. They're just bump play by Generations. It's a solid play. Um, he goes for the pass. He tries to head back as well. So that's fine. Like, as soon as you pass in twos, you have to rotate back. Uh, but Generations bumps him out. Smart play there. Not much you can do there for Moo Cows. Right, here we go. Face off again. This time... I can't tell if he's boosting the whole time because of the boost glitch. But again, gets completely beat by the face off. He's got to be very careful of that. Oh, good save, though. That's what you want to do. Just come out from the side. Like, when they have a hard shot, that's your best way of saving it. Good reaction time there and getting the save. Waited maybe a bit too long for this aerial, but the real problem here is... Gen not Generations. Dreamcatcher. Why in the world are you doing that? All right. Let's see when he jumps here. I just want to watch this in slow-mo. Alright, ball's going, you know, going okay. Going okay. We'll we'll go a little faster. Oh, he jumps from before the midfield line at 227 when there's three guys in front of him. Let's see how poorly this goes for him. So three guys are gonna touch the ball before he touches the ball, no matter what. So let's see. Let's just watch this in slow-mo. He's going for the pass. I guess. I have no idea what he's doing. Hey, Mukau, somehow you should know that your guy is flying for a pass. Oh, look. He's like basically, he would have blocked the shot if it was a pass anyway. Because he just flies into their net. Let's just all look at this, guys. Don't jump. So he landed at what, 223? He was in the air for four seconds for absolutely no reason at all. Because he just wanted to start flying. Like, what in the world are you doing, buddy? Anyway, let's get back. Luckily, Generations and them could not score after this play. Because it wrapped along the corner. So, it takes them a lot longer to bring this to the middle. It was a good pass, though. Great Gump should have jumped up sooner than that and had a goal here. So, let's go to Great Gump. Or Great Goat Gump. As soon as this ball rolls up, now this is when you want to jump earlier. Right here. Jump. You should be jumping right at this moment and flying towards that ball into the top corner shot. Try and get above it so, like, you can sink it in if needed. Look how long he's taken until he jumps. He still hasn't jumped. That ball has been there for, like, a million years. Now he finally jumps and just gets beat out. Here comes Dreamcatcher again. I don't know what the fuck Dreamcatcher is doing. Like, where the fuck are you going? Look at him. Now he's flying into the net. I want to go back and see what the fuck Dreamcatcher is doing again. What in the world? I hope he wasn't friends with them. I think he said he was playing solo. I sure hope so. All right, here we go. So he jumps when the ball is going in the air. This is actually not the worst idea in the world. But the problem is, again, there's three cars around it. So let's see. He's coming. 
He's he's not on an angle at all. He jumps when he's driving towards the inside post. Now he's going to make up all that speed to boost back towards the ball. See how much boost he's trying to use to change his uh, direction? And it doesn't help at all because he's going way too fast when he's on the ground. And there you go. So in the past 20 seconds, Dreamcatcher has flown from midfield into blue net and then flown from his side into his own net. He scored twice himself on both nets. I'll, like, I'll give him that, but I don't know what aerials he's trying to do there. I'm, I kind of feel bad for Moo Cows in this game right now. I'm not going to lie. But we'll continue. This is a bad place. So they, uh, these are the type of passes you don't want. Luckily, Dreamcatcher is nowhere to be found, which is good. Um, but you never want to pass it a, like along the goal line when they have a goalie. Because it just baits in your teammate to be like, Oh, I have a scoring chance. Let me try and attack it. So those, you have to be very careful. That one, it seemed like he wanted to hit the curve so you can get it in the air. Then that's fine because then you just force a bad rebound from blue team and you just wait it out. Um, but he he got neither there. Good cut off by generations there. Like, that's a great waste in time play. Dreamcatcher actually flew and hit the ball instead of flying into a net. Good player here by Moo Cows. Just, like, creeping up, trying to feel out the play but not get too close. He might have been able to aerial that and then this aerial is really poor. Right here, you can jump for it if you want. I understand why you wouldn't, though. Perfectly reasonable. It's a hard shot. Uh, so really no point. Generations goes up because he's afraid Mukaus is coming in. And Mukaus is not. Generations whiffs. So does Mukau. Like, Mukau's way off on this. Let's go back here. Once you decide to not go for the aerial, it's okay Like if Generations jumps. I think that's why Mukau jumps. You should be heading back. Because if Generation hits that, he's going to beat you because he jumped like two seconds before you. So you're better off not jumping for that at all. And just waiting for his hit. Just being a little passive on that. Uh, unless you go up first. Like if you go up first, then go for it. But you do not go up first, so just be careful. Like if you hear a defender jump before you and you're about the same distance away, just let him have it. And you have to just concede it. Good challenge here, trying to make the stop. I probably would have flipped into this. Uh, just do a little jump here because when you jump in the air then you can change your direction quickly in case they try for cuts like that so then you could side flip and make a better block than when you're just driving because driving you can't turn that fast in like a sideways motion so that's why I always bunny hop just before going for a challenge and then I can ch use a side flip to um, challenge the balls a bit better this was a good win by Great Goat he jumps before Mukau again but Mukau went up anyway. Um, he, like, he's just got to react faster to that. That's all. He's just reacting a little slow. Great goat, uh, great goat beats him. That's a goal. As soon as you see Great Goat jump, though, maybe turn around. But at that point, you're already up there. You kind of have to go for it as, like, a last-ditch block effort. So, that's fine. But just try and react a little bit quicker to those areas. Seems like he's a little cautious when the ball goes in the air too high. And he doesn't really want to go. But then he's like, ah, fuck it. Let's go anyway. All right. Let's move on. Generations. Smart play there by Mukai. He's like, turning sideways in case it's a really good hit. Then he can drive back to his net make the save. Ooh, that was a really, really dangerous play. As soon, So this is a bad hit. Whatever, it happens. But it went to Dreamcatcher, so not bad. Right there, though, Generations is, is going to win that. You just got to give up and not jump and just try and turn around quickly. Because as soon as you jump, you lose so much more time because of that play. And we're moving on. We're moving on. So here, I would also back up too. Once you decide that a pass is not good enough for you, don't keep driving forward. Wait it out a little bit further back. Like around that midfield line, so then you can take whatever clear they take and block it. But there, he just kept creeping forward, even though he knew he wasn't going for the ball. And that actually ruins your angles on blocking clears. Nice play by Dreamcatcher. Oh, that could have been a goal. He should have had enough boost. I think he grabs that boost. Eh, maybe not. But here, like, you have to boost and then just, like, shoot sideways, side flip. Unfortunate that he missed, but we get the goal anyway. This play actually looks a little funky. Like, that was a weird hit because he front flips and it hits off the side of his car. This is a really hard save for Great Goat. Um, actually turned out to be not as bad of a hit as I thought. And then uh, Dreamcatcher just hanging around getting the goal. So good play by Mukaz there. I was hoping for a boost before, though. Like, if you boost, maybe he didn't have any... You boost to that and then make a play, but uh, 
Yeah, not bad at all for Mukaz. His teammate, I don't know what the fuck he was doing halfway through that game, but... Well, let's try and find that play, actually. I don't know if I can find it. Actually, I probably can, because I'm we're somewhere in the middle here, so... Who, who knows? Who knows? But, anyway, that'll do it for the Moo Cows. The greatest name in all of Rocket League. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you, Moo Cows, for supporting me on Patreon. And we'll see you guys next time. Later.